Hey guys, welcome back to Base Lake. Currently in Ohio. Um, I don't fly out today until showtime is at 4.30 and departures at 5.30. So, as of right now, I'm gonna go put my steps in. When you become a professional pilot, there's a lot of time you're spending in the cockpit and so, and you're always on the road, so it's hard to eat healthy. It's hard to exercise because once you get off a trip, it might be really late or you might have an exhausting trip and you don't feel like working out. So every time there's downtime, like right now, I try to go get some steps in. So the goal is to get 10,000 steps today. Well, that was a complete fail. <laughs> I wanted to film, I wanted to make the movie outside when I was walking, but my camera died. So. We're gonna talk about what to expect in your first new hire class, training, ground school. So when I was going for my first job, the biggest question I had was what do I expect? Like, like, like that was my biggest worry. like, oh my gosh, like I got the job, but now what? Like, and then I started reading forms and like, people failing out, the pass rate. And it's like, oh my gosh, it overwhelmed me. So I'm gonna break it down to you guys, what to expect in your first new hire class. Here we go. So, you get the job, pass interview, everything's great, blah, 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 blah. Now, you have a class date. You show up to class the first day, and that's the worst. The first day is the worst, because you don't, you don't know anybody, you don't know what to expect, your mind's just going crazy. So, you show up to class, the first week to two weeks, depending on the company, is all about in-doc. Um, you're going to learn about the company, the history, um, where it's going, and just all company procedures, and just, it's all about company stuff. It's, personally, I didn't really like it, because um, you don't have no previous knowledge on it. It's just all new stuff, and just, it's all company related, so you have to learn it. It's kind of boring. Um, after, in doc is complete, you're gonna take some kind of test. Um, usually it's not too hard, it's a multiple choice test or something. You're gonna pass the test. Um, after that, you're gonna go into systems. Systems class consists of all the systems of the aircraft that you are going to be flying. So they're gonna go through the electrical system, they're gonna go through the landing gear system, they're gonna go through the fuel system, they're gonna go through the pressurization system, they're gonna go through every single system. At my current employer, each day during systems class, we went through two to three systems, depending on the complexity, the complexity of each system. If the system was super complex, we would most likely just do, two, just do two systems a day and it's just a lecture based and they would just, the person who's teaching the class is very, should be very familiar with the aircraft. So he's just kinda, he's just showing you how the system works. You ask questions, they answer them, um, and you just basically sit in class for eight hours a day, just like you do in high school or college. And you just kinda sit there and you just take notes. But you have to pay attention because there's going to be a test. So, you gotta pay attention. It's not like you can just fall asleep in class and think that you're gonna pass. Um, so, at my current job, what we did was we went through one or two systems a day. They said, okay, go home and study the systems that we just went over. Tomorrow there's gonna be a test on them. So we would go through the electrical, and say the hydraulic, the hydraulic system. We would go home, we would continue studying them, and then we'll come into class and we would have a 50 question test on each one of those systems. And now you're probably like, holy cow, well, how do you know what's gonna be on the test? A lot of it is gonna be like limitations or they're gonna kinda like steer you in the right direction and they're gonna tell you like, hey, 2742, remember 2742, you might see it somewhere else. And then tomorrow you'll uh, take a test and you'll say, what is the hydraulic pressure for the landing gear to be extended? Oh, 
and there it is. I don't know, something like that. That's not, that's not like a real, I just made that whole thing up right there, but it's kind of stuff like that. Um, now, the thing about it is you have to pass each test, but then once you pass the test, you can't forget the information at my current employer because at the very end of systems, you're going to have a final that covers all the previous systems into one big test. So now they're going to give you a 150 to 200 question test over the whole entire aircraft and they're going to pull five questions from this system, 10 questions from that system, five from here, 10 from there, and so on down the list. For my current company, you had to get a certain grade to continue on to the sim portion. And there was some people that um, struggled all um, through the ground training classes. Um, now the thing you gotta remember is just because there's a pilot shortage, they're gonna be a little bit more forget forgiving, but they're not going to just let you go through the class and just shoo you away. Now, that's, that's my experience at the two jobs I worked at. If you're working at some other company that they just hold your hand and walk you right through it, don't don't listen to me though but at my current employer and my previous one that's not the case they would hold your hand and they'll help you as much as they can though because they're 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 paying a lot of money for you to go fly around in the sim and and to go through ground training and all that stuff so they're paying a lot of money they want you to pass as much as you want to pass but if you're not competent enough to do it and you're not going to be a safe pilot and you're you're truly 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 having a hard time they really can't allow you to be in the cockpit with passengers in the back because if the captain becomes inca incapacitated, now what? You got somebody sitting in the right seat who just has no, no reason to be in the, in the cockpit at all. So after that, um, all right, so now you passed in docs, you passed systems, now it's the sim. Sim is uh, basically the fun time. You finally start getting to fly the aircraft. Um, so, once you get the sim, you have to know your call outs, your flows, and you have to know the basic procedures of um, what the company expects you to know to fly the aircraft. So your call outs. What are your quarter call outs? Um, so on the, say, at my company, the takeoff call outs. So the tower says clear takeoff. The pilot flying brings the thrust levers up to the takeoff detent. The pilot flying says set thrust. The non-flying pilot says thrust set. And then it goes airspeed alive both sides. 80 knots cross checked. V1 rotate. Positive rate. Gear up. Acceleration altitude after takeoff checklist. You know, it just, it's back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Because if you could get your call outs down perfectly, oh my gosh, it makes sim so much easier for you because you're not having to think about what to say. You're more focused on flying the aircraft. Now, if you go into sim and you know your call outs perfectly, but the guy sitting next to you do not does not know his call outs, holy cow, does it make it hard because it kind of messes up the whole flow because the guy next to you is either saying something wrong or not saying nothing at all. And you're just like, 400 feet, 400 feet. Okay, flaps up, y'all damper on. Glide slope's live. Oh, okay, yeah, glide slope's live. Glide slope captured. Yeah, yeah, glide slope captured. And it's like, you're helping him along the whole time. And it kind of like, you stop thinking about flying the plane because you're kind of like, you're doing his job plus your job and you're turning into a single pilot. All right, guys. Hope you guys didn't like it. Um, you guys have any questions, make sure you leave them down below. That's what I'm here for. I'm here to answer your guys' questions and just to shred, shed light on uh, what being a professional pilot is all about. So, catch you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it. See you guys later.